What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War <laughs> My Rome Remastered Total War. Let's play as the Bruti Eye. So to round off our of last time, we fought quite a major engagement against the Macedonian Empire, so now we are falling back towards Apollonia to regroup. And we also want to keep up our recruitment of Principes to slowly replace our Hastati. So I want to go back to Apollonia because we can re oh no, we can't retrain. My mistake. Uh, so it probably does mean we want to combine these weakest units of Astarte together. Because we do have this me this nearly full stack marching towards us. Which we need to be concerned about. Let's build a bit more cavalry. Let's not build too much because we do have an economy to worry about. These guys may attempt to shot towards Apollonia. Not there's anything we can do about it, fundamentally. Uh, but apart from that, how's our economy doing? Next turn we're going to be on... Uh, Estimated balance next turn, 5400. So we're getting about four grand a turn, which is pretty good. It would be, would be better if we were making more money, because right now we're getting... We might be starting to get bottlenecked by the cost to upgrade Tarantum's buildings. Yeah, Macedon are growing in strength. Okay, so we need to go and assault the army near Apolnia because they are dangerously near where we need to be. As Gaul continues to run around. <laughs> what is tempting is to build up a force, a small force, on the mainland and sail them around to land at somewhere like Corinth because they don't have much of a garrison there at all. This army is moving south towards Thermon, which I do not like the look of. I mean, you can you need to go fight against Captain What's his face, and you men probably want to. Hmm. First of all, Mara celebrations good. Senate mission failure, understandable. Tarantum's recruited a spy. So let's get that spy. Get that spy around. So who are you? Well, that's your the general that lost the uh, that last action. Question is, do I take this army? I won't be able to get there in one turn, but do I get this army, aboard, get them aboard ship, and sail and go hit Corinth? Because then I've got a minor city at my fingertips. I don't know how much it's making. Oh, do I gather my full strength and go hit these militia hoplites? Because I'm not within range yet. And some of my cavalry is a bit lacklustre. But I've got a lot of men. Let's move them nearby. They can get to the city next turn, so if they, but they are going to have to siege it, so then we can surround and hopefully destroy them. So you're recruiting Principes upon the... Uh, you can only recruit Town Watch. Check our construction tab. Yeah, Tarantum is is going to continue down the trade focus or the income focus 200% boost to trade trade bonus growth bonus is also good what's okay might have to get highways for there let's check our smaller towns first make sure they've not grown and then croton you can build a shipwright to help uh income grow but if we can destroy this army 
that's pretty much all of the Ottoman, all the not Ottoman strength, all of the Macedonian strength, in one position. If they turn to attack us, we will attempt to fall back. But I think between the troops we've got recruited, we should be able to destroy them, and then we can then we can blitz in and hopefully attack the rest of their holdings. Like Salona can't recruit anyone to help. We don't have any territories on the... Oh, actually, we do have territories here. Good. Let's build a unit of Hastati in Thermon. Um, actually, cavalry might be more useful against the Macedonian armies. Let's hit enter and see what happens. They may fall back in the face of overwhelming firepower. Or they might attempt to hit one of our armies. Okay, they, they're building their troops to the north. It looks like they might not have even moved their army. Which wouldn't be a... It itself wouldn't be a terrible thing. It would allow us to uh, delay and build our strength. Thrace is moving in. Faction destroyed. Seleucid Empire. Sad face is another big army. Okay, I think we generally, I think we pretty much have to uh, attack them. So sail you guys along nearby. Can't deposit them along the shore, sadly. Take settlement Athens. Yeah, that's a good idea. We do want to do that. Let's check our construction. Thermon, you can build a set of roads. Do we have any growing towns? No, all of our towns are just shy. Apollonia is the closest. But at least we're making what's known as bank. None of our, none of our people are in the Senate. So I'm pretty sure if we attack them... Okay, now we can do it. Yes, we're, de we're deploying a lot of soldiers. We've got a lot of light cavalry. Let's go and kill them. I hope to Christ it's not put the garrison under AI control. I can't... <laughs> um, I hope the default is to not do that. But we'll, we'll soon find out. Let's wait. Let's wait one more turn. <sighs> Let's make. Just want to make sure our you know, we give as, our uh, reinforcements as much chance as possible to get to get in. We don't have as much cavalry as I'd like, but I do want to group it together with my general to provide a good striking force, and that does mean I want my Triarii on the other flank ready. Mercenary hotplates be ready to charge in wherever they're needed. Skirmishers are going to be in tight formation. Skirmish mode off. Cavalry uh, archers behind them. Reinforcements have arrived, but are they in time to take part in the battle? Let's get in. The starty can run in. men at the front. They can fire at will. Charge down into their next cavalry unit that's waiting in formation to, for orders. Let's 
always keep an eye on their their um, keep an eye on their their uh, hoplites. Cavalry destroyed. Get back into formation. My Astarte gonna run into position. These two Velites, yes. Skirmish mode off. Run in. Looks like some of their cavalry did come back, but that's okay. They're more or less destroyed anyway. Send a single unit to go take out those light lances. Cretian archers aren't within range, but that's okay. I want to uh, dominate their cavalry first. Our archers, is that our archers engaging? Our Velites. Someone's shooting at him. They're sending more cavalry over onto the flank. That's good news for us. Okay, you guys pull back again. I'm more than happy to just defeat their cavalry one unit at a time. Valetes ran into position. My men are very... that's a very thin front. Especially as they're not running. Eat a bunch of. They're gonna eat a bunch of spears. You hit that pike unit. Let's keep an eye on where they start to point. Good, they've been destroyed. Cavalry's been destroyed. Starty, stay where you are. You men hit the back of that unit. Because they're only levy pikes. They're not very good. Great gods above! That it should come to this! Your leader has thrown his life away! Oh, that's my... Okay, that's fine. It's not my... Uh... <laughs> not my big guy. My captain. Captain of the garrison. That's okay. Okay, now we have to get ready to use our cavalry intelligently, because they are now marching in. Lots of these cases it won't be too bad. I mean that's Phalanx Pikeman isn't good. Hit our Triarii into the flank, get our men to attack, but also now take advantage of the fact that we do have 
a significant advantage when it comes to uh, units on the flanks of these positions. Where's my general? Bring him up to hit that levy pikeman in the rear. Don't worry about those other pikemen. You guys hit them. General, get out of the way. No, nope. general, keep attacking. You guys go after those light lances. You men go hit those lances. Good stuff. Oh, the levy pikemen are fighting to the death. I see. Don't fight the levy pikemen from the front. So let's go chase down some of these routing units because we've got sufficient superiority on the field okay you chase them down you guys come back to the field to hit those pikes in the rear okay no don't charge those okay now charge those pikes Try continue. You guys hit the that army there. Fear, now they flee. Good stuff. To be honest, a lot of this infantry. Actually, you can carry on. You're doing good stuff. Oh, you're not going to get those pikemen, sadly. So let's get you back to the front and go after those. Those pikemen there, you chase down those levy pikemen. Good stuff. Let's get the infantry out of the way now. <laughs> it's only these men. Oh no, there is some... Um... Oh, you're still after that hoplite unit. For whatever reason, my general does not want to uh, finish this guy off. So let's run away and then charge him again. Maybe, maybe my cavalrymen are blocking him. There we go. I got the achievement, ultimate sacrifice. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. But then we lost 200 men and we destroyed, destroyed this force. Beautiful absolutely beautiful so that a significant amount of damage to um, to macedonian power because that is a full stack gone and glory. thermon's upset understandably let's do some retraining what i probably want to do is take these Hastati out. That's four Hastati. Actually, let's... Okay, let's swap some Hastati for some of their weakest units of Hastati. Don't bother swapping out the Principes because they can't train them. Let's also give them two more units of Cavalry. If you're able to push north, Thermon can do some retraining and I want this army to grow and push east good stuff okay I think that's everything let's check our uh, construction tab make sure I have the construction tab open 
The uh, third one's already building, Tarantin's already building, so he's Croton. Make sure you're recruiting. Let's recruit some more cavalry based on that demonstration of how absolutely kick ass cavalry is. I mean, it, did, it did help. I had my faction leader there because it meant that he could steady the troops. And I might even take this hoplite unit, put it into the this army here, and merge them together to make a slightly stronger army. But yeah, you need to get back north to intercept these guys. You guys, I want you to grow and then push east. I think east. Pretty sure it's not Larissa. What have you got to say? Thermon, want, you want to recruit Velites and Thermon. No dice. What do you have equities? Enemy army routes. The foe are so few in number that they have fled and hidden rather than face the might of true Romans. Beautiful. Let's hit end turn. Yeah, just goes to show, cavalry is brilliant. And it also means, unlike in Empire and Napoleon, where everything can kill everything, you really need to uh, have the pre-battle fight with their cavalry first to make sure you dominate. Yep, so they are pushing up on the... Uh, Britannia's, the, the Britannia, the Britons are pushing in. Thrace are pushing in as well. Soon Macedon, hopefully, will have a fight on war on two fronts. Thermon is very upset. Why? Culture penalty. Oh. You've got a Roman shrine. Granted, you've got lots of other buildings you hate. But no, hey, you're okay now. Let's get a Temple of Juno. I think it's probably because we recruited more troops. Let's march you north. So who's this up here? Oh, it's the general that previously was here. Uh, they do have Macedonian cavalry now, so let's, we do need to be wary. Okay, you can get to the docks. You can... Ooh. Okay, let's give you a unit of principes. Give you a unit of cavalry, sorry. Let's merge this principe unit with as many as you can. Actually, let's, con uh, actually, let's leave it. Let's leave it so I can do the merging on this screen. So I can take those principes out and give them the full unit of principes. And then you guys come back to the docks. Good stuff. Do we have any town growths? No. Parthian, Egypt are at war. Julia and Macedon are at war again. Let's get rid of all these. Take turn Athens. Yeah, working on it. Pretty sure none of these towns have grown. Polny is the closest. So very close. Yeah, they can get there. They can siege the town in the next turn. We need to get more buildings built, really, here to help get rid of that culture penalty. Uh, Croton. You recruit a merchant, because I want to try and get them over to the gold at Salona. Okay, inactive fleet. fleet ready. Those rebels they are. Ooh. There we go. Sunk. We just sunk them. Make port in Thermon for retraining. Good. Like, I can't move them out of Thermon now because they are not happy. They are disillusioned. So we need to actually get some building done first. We also need more... Uh, family members. Because right now, we are low. So the Macedonian cavalry are a concern, because they are better than the cavalry I have. And I do have Triarii and Pikes. Ooh. Can't withdraw, so let's fight it. Too bad. 
good. Their army's pulled back. Or one of them has. It does mean that the force with the Macedonian cavalry is now alone and weaker. Thracer on the march. Holy hell. Yeah, so we can now isolate and destroy this army. They've not got much Macedonian cavalry, but... Not bad. Croton is not happy. So let's probably build a temple to Juno. Suggestica, Polnia, Salona. Polnia is so close. A hundred people. You recruit Prince Pays. You've got your merchant who is going to get to the port and wait for passage. You to go up to the gold. Awaiting your command. Securing resources. Spies hunker down. I am my agent. Can go down to see Spain. This diplomat can stay where he is. But bear in mind, we are going to fight the Greeks at some point. <laughs> so Thermon needs to keep building, keep recruiting. Maybe go after some town watch to act as a garrison when we leave and push towards Corinth. I mean, we could just sail down there, to be honest, pretty quick. The ship's out of movement. Croton. We can build a trireme. Build a trireme. But let's take Aulus Brutus and go and attack and destroy this force that's almost exclusively cavalry, but they do have one good unit of Macedonian cavalry. Well, let's go and hopefully kill this general. Then this force may swing east and threaten Larissa. And then Thermon can sail and hit Athens. No. Start deployment. Okay. Okay, so infantry line. Although I am spreading them too thin, I want them to have some bulk to maintain uh, some. So they got a bit more sturdiness when they resist the charge. So let's get our pell tests. Behind the line, let's add a little line of triarii. Hoplites and pikes behind the line. And we've got a significant amount of cavalry. So you guys I want skirmish mode off and fire at will. Come on, cavalry. Want to come and play? The spearmen are running into position. I want my infantry front rank to be... to fire at will. Where's my triarii? Push my triarii out onto the flank. Cav my artillery... my artillery. Archers are firing onto the levee pikes. So where's their Macedonian cav? On the right. Oh, there's my mercenary peltists. Let's get them out of formation to make them run.
You guys run, you guys hunker down. Okay, halt. So that's your light lances. Yeah, I'll hit. Actually, no, not my general. Run my cavalry behind the lines. The Peltast's working on the militia hoplites. go so we've broken that cavalry unit macedonian cavalry so i suppose it's better we hit them rather than they hit us you hit the levy pikes Goes hit, you hit them. Run this cavalry down here to intercept and surround and destroy the Macedonian cavalry. That's not going to work. You guys keep attacking pikes there. Triarii, go hit those light lances. Oh, you're not charging front on, are you? Near enough. Let's get you out of there. general's been shot off of his horse by my archers yeah we're going to continue the light lancers are dead to be honest i've continued the battle but i don't we're not we're probably not going to catch most of their cavalry because <laughs> most of it's routed so quickly Where's my Archers of Crete? Archers of Crete, Archers of Crete, there you are. Eh, you got him. Awesome, and we did get their general. 1,100 down to 97 men. That is a lovely victory. So with these two battles, the Macedonian front is blown wide open. Victory and glory. March you east. Some of our troops are a bit... Well, they're not, they're not vulnerable, but... Uh, yeah. Is that a trireme? Yeah, trireme and two biremes. Once we get the ships from Croton, they can sail to Thermon, take the army, lay siege to Corinth, and this army in Thermon needs to be careful because they might then become be attacked by Sparta. But right now, we have blown a huge hole in the Macedonian front. We're going to come after you, Captain Basilios, and then we're going to go hit Larissa. My merchant's on the way, but looking at that timer, I think it's time to end the episode, and this has been a pretty good episode. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Brutii. Cheers, everyone.